Hey Scorpio, thanks for uh, checking out your uh, happy hump day love reading. Yeah, it's the middle of the week, it's Wednesday, so it's a happy hump day. And it's a love reading, so we're looking actually at, I'm looking at a specific energy system, which is love, love and romance. Um, you know, this is general love, so this could also work out, oh, I got earplugs in. This could also work out as, um, you know, familial love. But really the intention of it is love and romance. So, that's what we got. Spirit, please be with me now. Bring forth the most clear, concise, accurate messages for our Scorpio collective as it pertains to love in their life right now. What's going on for our Scorpios in love, Spirit? What do we have? What's the overall theme message? Where are we starting at? Where are we getting things started? Knight of Pentacles. Steady, reliable, dependable. Incredibly slow moving. Um, trustworthy, honest, brave, thrifty. They're the Boy Scout. Uh, this is someone you can depend on. You can, uh, they'll be there for you in times of trouble. They'll show up. They actually show up. They might be late because it's very slow-moving earth sign energy. That's the overall theme that we have going on here. Spirit, what more can we say about this? This Knight of Pentacles energy. Okay, so maybe they're not moving slow after all. Um, the Chariot. Well, this could be a card of Cancer. I typically don't see it that way. But this is very fast-moving energy. Um, balancing of the yin and the yang and moving forward quickly. So you may be moving things forward rapidly with an earth sign. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, that Knight of Pentacles. Someone who's really dependable, trustworthy. Someone that helps you feel safe inside you. So it looks like things are actually moving forward rapidly. Um, or, conversely, things are moving forward really slowly with a Cancer. Because uh, the Chariot is a card of Cancer. <laughs> ah, love Tarot. Um, but for most people out there, what I'm seeing is things are progressing quickly for you in a situation with someone that you deem, that you feel is very trustworthy and uh, dependable and someone you feel safe with. And that's kind of a big thing, is feeling safe in a situation. Spirit, what more can we say about this, um, this energy, this Rapid movement forward with the safe, dependable energy for our Scorpios. What's the situation happening? How's this, how are things unfolding? King of the Wands. Very passionate, uh, mature fire sign energy. The King of the Wands makes things happen. King of the Wands knows how to initiate and move things along. Um, they are highly creative and highly energetic. They know how to spark things into motion. So, I'm going to place that underneath the chariot. Ah. Spirit, let's talk more about What's coming towards our Scorpios in love? Okay, let's look at the what's coming towards them in love. Seven of Pentacles, more earth sign energy. This is about looking at what you've invested and are you getting the return that you want? So someone is looking at what they've put in here with you, Scorpio, and are they getting back what, they des what they've put in? Are, they, are their seeds bearing fruit? Are, are they getting sprouts? Is, is this coming along? Is this thing on? Yeah. Spirit, what more can we say about what's coming towards our Scorpios with uh, regards to love here? A page of the Pentacles. It's a small offer, but it's a solid offer. So there is an offer that's coming toward you. And it's coming in kind of quick. Um... So this dependable energy may be that king of wands. 
Mm -hmm. Could be a mature fire sign, so, you know, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, masculine. Or they could be in their masculine energy. And mature doesn't mean old, it just means they're mature. You know, they, uh, <sighs> they can take care of themselves, they can make things happen, you know. Yeah, they're not youthful and flighty. I'm saying. Spears, is there anything that's uh, potentially crossing the situation happening for our Scorpios? Is there any potential crossing energies here? Page of Swords, youthful air sign. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Or needing the facts. Maybe Scorpio, you're still learning, still getting to know someone. Um, the Page of Swords energy is someone who is researching, studying, learning. Okay. So that's a potential crossing energy. How is this a crossing energy spirit? Six of the swords, moving on to calmer waters. Okay, what more can we say about that energy spirit? What more is involved in this? Be got. Yeah, it didn't feel right. Spirit, what more can we say about this? Do a better understanding here. The world, completion of a cycle. So maybe you're you're needing to finish something out, finish a cycle out. Moving on to moving away from turbulent thoughts, um, chaotic thoughts into the completion of the cycle. And that could be what you're looking into. Getting the information. If you're looking for closure, and sometimes no closure is the closure you need. Um, from another situation. You know, if someone doesn't want to offer you closure, then you don't need to hear it from them. Whatever the reason is, it wasn't you. It was them. Scorpio. Spirit, what advice do you have for our Scorpio collective in love, as it pertains to love and romance? What advice do you have for our Scorpios? Justice. Balance the scales. Make sure that whatever is coming towards you values you, that you are getting out of it what you're worth. Okay, Scorpio? Make sure that it's just and fair. Oh, that light just started shining right on me as I was saying that and totally washing out my face. It got a window right across from me. Wow. Yeah, so make sure that it's balanced and it's fair for you, Scorpio. Try to move a bit there. Spirit, what other advice do you have for the Scorpio Collective here? This pertains to love. Four of Cups. Four of Cups is a meh card. It's typically considered the not interested card. Spirit's saying, don't jump at the first offer that comes your way. You know, not everything that glitters is gold. And uh, not every suave person coming in on a chariot is um, a knight of pentacles. Any other advice, Spirit, for our Scorpio Collective? Ace of Cups. Love. You need to offer this Ace of Cups to yourself, Scorpio. Bring love into the situation, not lust. That would be an ace of wands. This is love. Bring love into the situation, and you'll see things clearly, and you'll know which way to go. Um, but it looks like, to me, you do have an offer headed your way. And it could be worthwhile to you, but be patient with it. Don't rush the situation. Cautious, patient. Easy for Scorpio, I think. Yeah, we typically want the details. And that's that Page of Swords energy. That's that researching. But and now I'm seeing the Six of Swords energy as 
not, you're, it's not asking you to dive to the depths of the darkest spaces of the situation. Keep it calm. Keep it social. You know, enter a new world, a new way with connection. Not every connection needs to lead to marriage, okay? Starting out, it can be light. Get to know the person. Don't race the situation. And if they come in trying to move things forward too fast, you don't have to race them all. Go at your pace, my friends. That's what I'm getting from the Knight of Pentacles energy now. Spirit, do the uh, Romance Angels have anything they want to say about this incoming offer for our Scorpio Collective? Anything that the Romance Angels want to throw down on this? Hmm. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Yeah, free yourself. That's what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope this message is helpful, and uh, yeah. If you want a private one-to-one -one reading with me, um, go to the description box, you'll find my Instagram handle. Go to Instagram, copy and paste it in, message me, you know. Click search, you'll find me, send me a message. And we can set up a private one-to-one -one reading. Um, yeah, that's what I got for you, my friends. Hope this message is useful. From my heart to yours, I send you love, I send you peace. See you in the future, Scorpio.